Greetings, divine, infinite light beings. Ashe, I am back. You will see my face because I'm not going anywhere. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. <laughs> but anyways, yes, spirit has brought me back. I was trying to do this message in last night, but my camera was full. And by the time I realized it was full, I had spilled out the whole message and it wasn't even recorded. Ashe, you know, shit like that happens. But... When, when the demonic energy, en energies do not want you to um, reveal the truth, Ashe. And yesterday, um, in the AM, um, my younger son was um, aggravating my older son. Both of them carry the trait of autism, Ashe. One is higher than the other, right? But one aggravates the other one in an aggressive way, right? And I told my older son, you know, sometimes you just have to ignore a motherfucker, you know, and my older son is like, he's always being aggressive to me. You know, he's always acting like this to me, Ashe. And this could be going on too in your life, Ashe, divine infinite light beings. Being a, a divine infinite light being, Ashe, you always have an aggressor, Ashe, that's trying to be combative with you, Ashe, for some reason of their insecurity, Ashe. So re remember, when you always have somebody combative, aggressing, uh, attacking you, wanting to be argumentative with you, that is a, an insecurity of their own, pew, 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 like this motherfucker, he's a walking insecurity down the street, the Pennywise in the dress, he's a walking insecurity down the street, Ashe, so you too also have that in your life, just as well as, you know, my son has it with his brother, Ashe, and I told him, you know, sometimes you just got to ignore a motherfucker. And Spirit is saying this to you in this present time. Sometimes you just got to ignore the motherfucker, Ashe. And so, um, by that being done, because, you know, a lot of people um, actually choose to want to be that itch. You know, that deep ass fucking itch that you can't scratch under your skin. They, two, two, two on the clock. It is a purpose that they get up every day to be that itch under your skin that you can't scratch, Ashe. And if you give them an opportunity, if you open that portal, because it's a portal, if you open that portal for them to get in deep within your, your psyche, your your in, your inner being, Ashe, they will be that itch that you can't fucking never scratch. You can't get rid of, Ashe. You know, like that itch in the back, in the middle of your back, and somebody could be itching in their back right now. Um, but that deep itch that you can't reach and you just want to, you know, that itching, you know, when your top of your roof gets to, you, you want to scratch that shit so bad, you want to just go in there and dig in it and scratch it, but you can't. That's these fucking people in your life. You better be aware of it. You better open your eyes to it. You better recognize it. Ashe. Spirit is asking you. Spirit is demanding you to recognize this shit. And to, to pick and choose who you give your energy to. Because if this is the same combative motherfucker when you go to work. The same combative motherfucker want to argue with you over the workplace. And how to do the shit in the workplace. Don't get that motherfucker your energy. You know, your lover want to battle with you, you know, because they're insecurities. Don't give that motherfucker your energy and actually separate from that bitch. Because that's a bitch-ass bitch or a bitch-ass nigga. Pew, pew, pew. And then, you know, your family members, your children, Ashe. Um, you know, strangers off the street. Because you can really just run into a motherfucker, you know, that um, is, uh, you know, a bastage you know, in the street, like you, for instance, you go to the, to, to the laundromat, Ashe, and, 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 um, a motherfucker know that you got your shit, your shit sitting by this motherfucking washer that you finna use, you know, all your shit is there, Ashe, but they be so bold as to come in and move your shit, Ashe, put they shit in the washer right fast, act like they didn't see your shit, that's a motherfucker that 
wants to get under your skin. I say they're 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 waiting for you to open up that portal so it can be a kind of combative type of energy. I say or a motherfucker that um make you have road rage when you're out in the streets. I say or you you know a motherfucker that you walk up to their cashier their 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 register they've already been having a fucking badass day but they see that you um you know, they see that you are of the light, they are of the dark, and they want to piss you off. They want to get under your skin. And if you allow them through that portal, they will. I say, and Spirit is saying, sometimes you just got to ignore a motherfucker. Oh, you have a nice day because I see you, you operating in a lower energy. Hit them with that shit. I feel your low energy. They hate when you hit them with, I feel your low energy. You demonic, you this, you that. And you exposing that darkness. Hit them like that. Don't even argue with them. Just say, I know, I feel your demonic energy. I feel your, your, um, your, your, um, the presence of your dark, um, 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 shadow side. What, however you want to present it. You, you present it to them. I see the darkness in you. I see the demonic, um, ill will intent in you. Call that shit out for what it is, Ashe. I see you want to battle with me, and I'm not going to give you my fucking energy. Not today. Not today, Ashe, because there's always someone out there that wants to get up under your skin. Because of the presence, the purity, the light, the joyfulness, the happiness, the peace, the positive energy that you exude. People can't stand that. Especially when they want to remain in a negative, dark-ass energy. You know, they don't like people that operate in positive energy. So, Spirit just have a quick message. You know, when you feel like and you understand, understand, and overstand that this, you are being attacked purposely. You ignore that shit. You know, if it's not time for you to be in that battle on the front line as that supernatural warrior, let that shit fly. Just let it fly. I say I've learned to do that. I've learned to not accept every fucking um, war. I say I know when to go to battle. I say, but I'm not going to accept every war that um, somebody tries to um, wage against me. I say because then I'll be fighting myself. Ashe, you, you got to pick and choose your battles at the right point in time when you are put on that front line. Ashe, either you can, you know, make an example of them. Like, for instance, right, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, hold that thought one second because I don't like my door being open. Not when I'm delivering a message. Hold that thought. Okay, for for instance, since since I came, um, since I was giving you the scenario about the grocery store, me and my daughter was in the grocery store last week, right? And um, I believe it was last week or no, it was two weeks ago because it was the a couple of days after I had almost somebody tried to take my life. I'm, and I'm going to say somebody tried to take my life. You got to understand it's a spiritual warfare and you got to realize it is what it is for what it is. I say someone tried to take my life. I say and um, they failed drastically, um, humiliatingly. Cause I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> but anyways, we was in the grocery store, right? And, um, the cashier, he was just very, very fucking shitty. Like real, real shitty. And I, you know, I just had to point it out. I didn't get combative with him, but I, confirmation, I let him know, I see where you coming from, right? I see where you're coming from. And, and, and I even got the singing, right? I was like, it's written all over your face, right? Mm. You don't have to say a word because it's all over your face. How you carry yourself, what energy you're in. And this motherfucker, you know, I'm asking him, how do I get to my, my points? Because I, I've accumulated points to where I can get my groceries for free, right? How do I, he didn't even want to tell me how to get, to, you know, you're this cashier. This is your job. This is your position. If I'm asking you and you work here, you're supposed to go and guide me to how I get to what I need to get to. So 
confirmation so I can utilize what I it, it, it's my privilege to to utilize because I'm the privileged lady, right? So I wanted to utilize my privileges, but this motherfucker didn't want to even show me how to get to my privileges because of the stank ass energy that he was in. So he was trying to um, get into a portal to make me um, get out of character, Ashe. And in that instant, I did not get out of character. I just laid it on the line. I see where you're coming from. And the man behind me, right, he, he, he seen the energy, but he thought the energy because the, the cashier was 10, 10 on the clock. The cashier with um, 111 following behind it. The cashier was so adamant of holding up this persona as if it was not him. So the man behind him thought it was me, right? And I'm like, you know, I'm telling the cashier, it's not me. It's you. You're having a bad day and you shouldn't um, spill that shit over to the customers, right? I'm letting him know in a, a polite type of way, right? Right? Even his 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 co-worker came up, right? And his co-worker came up in the middle of the incident. My daughter is the man behind us. My daughter here, me here, him here. The co-worker comes up and the co-worker comes in it, right? And um, she's asking, you know, what's going on? I'm telling her, you know, he's having a real bad day, you know. Um, he, he doesn't know how to um, conduct himself right now in this time, Ashe. And um, what was it? Yeah, okay. He don't know how to, I was trying to figure out why are we here. <laughs> he doesn't know how to conduct himself in this time, right? And she she sees the combativeness. She sees the, the, the mental illness that he's going through in the present time because it's mental illness. It truly is. This is a fight within oneself, Ashe, when you want to be so combative with someone else. You're fighting yourself, Ashe. You, you, you're looking in the mirror, but actually you're not fighting the person that's standing in front of you. You're, you're using them as a mirror. He used me as a mirror. And when I stepped up on the scene, he seen how ugly he was. So he wanted to try to portray it and put it on me. That's a portal. I'm not accepting that a portal. You're not going through me through that portal, Ashe. You got to be Pay attention, be aware, right? And so I'm letting him know. I, it's written on your face. I'm seeing it in front of his co-worker and all this, you know, in front of the customers, all this. I'm not going to allow you to put that negative energy on me, especially after what I've just been through. Ashe, I'm barely standing in the fucking store as it is. I'm swole, I'm all this, Ashe, and, and, and I'm still remaining knowing that this right here is not the war for me. You feel me? You got to remember what war you're going to accept, right? And so, um, you know, I said my piece or whatever. Let him know it's you, not me, right? And I went on about my business. We standing there to the side and the man behind us comes up and he said, you know, I thought it was you. He told me, I thought it was you, but no, it's him. I said, I told y'all it was him. It was not me because he did the same shit to the man behind us. Even though, you know, the man behind us thought it was me egging it on. I say just, you know, cause perception is a bitch, right? Especially when you walk up and you're not seeing the full, um, interaction of what's going on perception is a bitch you you want to use your perception for how you see things is and he's seen me just being this angry black woman we are not angry black women we stand up for our rights is what we do. I say so fucking remember that when you when you feel like you approached it approaching an angry black woman I say it no we're standing up in our goddess energy I say you better know Ashe, and so he came to me, he he had to let me know, you know, like, yeah, this dude really tripping over here. I said, I, we started laughing. I said, I told you, you know, it wasn't me, you know. I did. He experienced the same shit in just that instant. You know, this this cashier trying to get, go, th go through different people, getting going through different portals because this motherfucker mad, he at work today. If you if you don't want to go to work, don't go to work that day. If you know you're going to be fucking mad, don't go and be mad. Stay home. Call in. Oh, I need, I need a day to 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 get myself together. Take a sick leave. Whatever you need to do. A sick day. 
Whatever you need to do, don't go to work in that type of energy. Ashe Spirit is saying, and, and when you run up against that type of energy, know what war to address, Ashe, because you don't always want to go to war um, and cause battles, Ashe. You, you want to know which war to fight and what battle you have to really put yourself in, Ashe. And, and that's what I was telling my son. Sometimes you just got to, 444, we always divinely protected with Archangel Michael. Sometimes you just got to um, ignore a motherfucker. And that's what spirit is telling you in this in this present moment. Sometimes you just got to ignore a motherfucker for what it is, what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. I say. And, and that's what it is, Ashe. And that is the message for right now in this time, in this present day, Ashe. You got to ignore a motherfucker. You got to know when to, um, what war to, you know, um, part part participate in, Ashe. You just got to know, Ashe. So you can remain stable and balanced, Ashe. In your full abundance, I say, and so I'm a little spark of light. Together, we are the divine creators, infinite light beings. I say that was a quick message from spirit. I'm sending out loving, healing energy from the ethers through me to you. I say, pure vibrating, loving energy. I say, authentic energy, healing energy, um, uplifting energy, motivating energy, warm, loving energy ashe ashe and so these messages are always timeless ashe um if you feel like someone else needs to hear the message ashe um you know relay it to them however you want to ashe ashe and so um gratitude for the energetic love the likes the comments ashe um the shares, I say, just much, much gratitude in each and every day. I say, I, I thank you for believing in me. I say, I thank you for um, trusting in me because you have to believe and trust when someone is um, actually trying to um, come together in communion with you. I say, you have to form some um, ability of trust. I say, to know the truth of where I stand, Ashe, and I thank you for that, Ashe, in this present moment, Ashe, on this present day, Ashe, um, I come in the image of the divine creator, Ashe, and I will always do that in each and every given day, Ashe, Ashe, and so I'm sending my love, oh, 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 oh. Uh, me, 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 me. <laughs> Sending my love to you, Ashe. <laughs> Ashe, and um, may the peace be in you as it is <laughs> within me. Ashe, Ashe. Mwah.